Hey everyone, welcome back to Build Tune Race. Today we're going to be repairing a trailer so we can get Bernie down to Florida for an upcoming burnout competition. So, pretty excited about that. The uh, trailer has needed some TLC for a little bit, it's starting to fall apart. Uh, even the side by side going on narrow, starting to get a little sketchy. So, ran down today to the local Lowe's, got a whole bunch of treated lumber, and this will be my first time replacing a deck on a trailer uh give you guys a cost analysis update uh at the end of it once i know that everything is complete but pretty much i'm thinking i've never done this before but since i'm able to weld i'm thinking i'm going to cut it here and here remove this piece here and then everything should pretty much come out real easy and then just re-weld that piece at the end um i think that's about the easiest thing i can do because uh, these sit back in here a little ways uh and those sit all the way to the front so i assume that you got to uh, more or less cut one of the covers off i'm not sure how they would get them in there unless they're just bowing them up in the center uh and maybe maybe you could pr push enough on the center of them to get the wood to bow up i'm not too sure uh because some of the wood is kind of flexible but this old stuff is just gonna pretty much fall apart on me so i'm gonna go ahead and get started with pulling all these screws out of the tr trailer so far i pulled a few out and they came out pretty easy Hopefully I can do this here in just a few hours, but we'll see how it goes. So here's the screws that I'm pulling out uh, and they, they look like they're trying to tap themselves at one time, but they really don't can't drill through. So I'm not sure uh, exactly what the plan is for putting screws back in this thing. There's a couple that wouldn't come out. There's one in there too. Uh, so I actually just went tighter and it busted them off, which is fine. Uh, just cut them smooth with the frame underneath. But for the most part, they're coming out. So I just went ahead and grabbed my old trusty rusty screwdriver, shoved it down beside it, tilted this one up, and well, this will at least come out. <laughs> so we'll, uh, we'll keep going this route if this works, I don't have to cut anything off. Most trailers I think you can redeck them without, uh, without cutting metal off and stuff. I'm pretty sure they're designed that direction, but you know, whatever makes it easier. next so this board here was actually pretty strong still so just went ahead and took the little saw saw and uh cut it now oh, it pulls out real easy i'm thinking whoops i'm thinking on uh these here hopefully they just slide out but i'm not too sure we'll find out here in a minute all righty now on the fourth board in it looks like now you can turn them enough crooked uh to get them to pop out over here on the edge just with a little bit of little force they'll pop right out so now from everything else i just got to tilt them and they'll pop all out of there so it's going to be like the last three or four boards it'll kind of be a pain oh i'm real glad that i can go cut this off thinking i was just going to remove this to pop them out because there's inner braces too so i'm not sure if you just cut a few of these out get them all stacked and then possibly slide a new one in this direction or what uh it looks like it'll be tight but maybe with a hammer you can even see where that one looks like it's been hit before uh, to get them set down in there. So maybe that's just what you got to do. So I'm going to uh, keep going with the main deck and then I'll work on getting these pieces of wood out. And then I think I need to put replace those and then work on the main main part of it. So I'll just uh, keep going. Glad I didn't just get gung-ho and bust out the four inch cutoff wheel and start cutting stuff off. <laughs> so here we go. Just uh, took my screwdriver again. Work this back. I can get that up. And with two hands, hopefully. There we go. So it looks like what I was thinking is instead of unloading all these, try to redo some of these here. And then I can start sliding these in. And then I'll open up myself over there. Just kind of do half and then another half. Now time to put all the new stuff in. Got it all cleaned off. Got one piece cut, starting to slide in there. These actually might be going in a little bit easier since now they're not like trying to bow and twist out of the way. So uh, I'm just using one of the boards. I got like two extra ones just in case. Uh, pull it out, mark them, cut them, slide them all in, and then I'll start on the, the main pieces. So after a quick lunch break, Alex stopped by and we're gonna go ahead and keep going on this thing. Uh, got this down here going pretty decent. I'm gonna start laying the long ones in there. So looking. Pretty good, got a quick little start on it. Uh, we're just hoping that these big ones will fit in there. It's gonna be a tight fit, but hopefully they'll hopefully they'll slide in.
what do you think? A lot better than that, huh? Shoot. So, last piece of board, you just use this little spacer. And then, well, probably need Alex's assistance here. Just give a little on the board, just to watch your fingers though. Hey, like a glove. The only thing is I got a little gap here, so I need to spread these out. They're real tight, so I'm gonna kick them up a little bit. But I think the, t the trailer's got a little bit of a wedge to it, so pull it onto flatter ground, I should be able to space them out better. Get some screws put in them. I mean, honestly, the wood's not gonna go anywhere, but yeah, it's mostly for like that, so they don't, don't sit there and wobble. So, otherwise, guys, what do you think? Not bad for the first time. New deck on a trailer. Looks like a brand new trailer, though, now. Shoot. So to screw the deck back down, I went ahead and just marked the beam that's underneath here and then put a chalk line, drilled it with a drill bit, and then go ahead and run them home. They're not really a tapper, so uh, they kind of cut their own threads though. The old bar was right, I think they had them here and like here. So I'm just going on all the rails that haven't been touched so then you're not trying to hit holes that are already there and all that crap. So uh, I'm gonna go there, there, and right here. And then that'll, that'll lock all that wood in pretty well. Uh, I mean, it's in there pretty good anyway, but this will keep it from kind of bouncing as you go down. Well, guys, there it is. I'll walk you out and show you, but the wind's starting to pick up here. But otherwise, it's looking pretty dang good. Not bad. Got our screws in there. One thing I still got to do is just, uh, I might go get some new ones and some mounts for the straps. Otherwise, not too dang bad. All right, everyone, so just went and pulled it around the block. Everything seems good. Nothing really wobbling around or making a bunch of noise or anything. Uh, so what I did is I went to Lowe's today, grabbed, I think it was like 18 pieces. I actually have two extras to, oh, I can take those back. That's about 30 bucks. So I gave, and uh, keep in mind, wood's high right now. Uh, just based on everything I guess going on. So each piece was about 15 50 a piece or something like that. Tax and everything here in Colorado came out to about $300. Reused all the screws, had the drill, battery, like sawzall, all that stuff. So it really didn't cost me anything more than about $285 to redeck this thing with a whole bunch of new wood. This was the, uh, the tempered wood. So if you want to see more videos like this, racing videos or anything like that, please hit that subscribe button. We'll see you guys in the next video.